Hi everybody, my name is Erica. I work at the Jones Assembly in Oklahoma City. Uh, this is our next video in our Food Spirits Music tutorial series, and I'm here to show you how to make the Clover Club cocktail. This is not a Jones original cocktail. Uh, this is a drink that has been around since the pre-prohibition era, uh, but it is super popular at the Jones. It's a drink that our customers love and that we make for them all the time. It's a strong drink, it's fruity, it's not too sweet, um, and it's a fancy cocktail moment. Uh, it feels fancy, makes you feel fancy, and with all the chaos and the stress in this world, um, I think it's fun and necessary to take a moment um, to do something that lets you escape for a moment. So I put on my fanciest onesie, um, like we are all running around in right now, and we're gonna make this cocktail. So let's go over some of the tools and ingredients that you're gonna need. You're gonna need one egg white. Uh, if you're vegan, you can use aquafaba as a substitute for the egg white. Aquafaba is chickpea water, um, and it'll work as an emulsifier the same way the egg will, and you will be missing nothing. Um, you're gonna need three-fourths of an ounce of lemon juice. Fresh squeezed is always better for your cocktails. You're going to need six to eight raspberries, fresh, uh, just depending on the size of the raspberry for your drink, and then you're gonna need three more for your garnish. You're gonna need three-fourths of an ounce of simple syrup. Simple syrup, if you don't know, is just sugar water. You just take equal parts sugar and water, melt it down, and let it cool. That's it. And then the last thing you're gonna need is gin. Uh, you're gonna need two ounces of gin. At the Jones, we use Heyman's London Dry. However, you can use whatever gin you have in your liquor cabinet, um, whether it's a botanical gin like Uncle Val's or a flavored gin like Malfi Limon or Rosé, all of those will work just fine. Use what you got. Um, you're gonna need some ice. And then for tools, you're gonna need cocktail shaker. If you don't have a cocktail shaker, a really well sealed uh, mason jar will do in a pinch. Um, you're gonna need a anything that measures in ounces. I'm gonna use a cocktail jigger. You're gonna need a muddler. If you don't have a muddler, you can use the back of a big spoon or a spatula. Raspberries are really soft, so it doesn't take much to kind of smash them up. You're gonna need a cocktail pick for your garnish. If you don't have cocktail picks, you can use a, whoops, a metal straw, no plastic, save the turtles, um, or anything else that's this basic shape and size. We're just gonna put our raspberries on it for garnish. And lastly, what you're gonna need are some strainers. Uh, I'm gonna use this one to hold back the ice, and then the double strainer um, is gonna make the froth that we create have a really smooth, uh, non-bubbly texture to it. Uh, the last thing you're gonna need is glassware. Uh, at the Jones, we use coupe glasses. I don't own any of those in my house, um, so I'm gonna use the stemmed glassware. The glass have a little bit of a wider top, which allows the froth to kind of level out over it and not create a big like stack of froth in a little bit of a thinner glass. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna do our egg white first. If you have an egg white separator gadget, by all means use that. I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way, which is just to crack the egg, leaving the oak on one side of the egg and allowing the egg white to fall down. And then we're just gonna pass it back and forth like you're playing hot potato. And all of that egg white will separate itself and you'll be left with the yolk in your eggshell. If you get, oh, uh, excuse me, if you get yolk in your egg white, Toss it, start over. The yolk will mess with your cocktail and won't taste super great. Okay, raspberries. I have little tiny baby raspberries, so I'm gonna put in eight. We're gonna do three fourths of an ounce of simple syrup. Three fourths of an ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. and two ounces of gin. For now, I'm gonna leave the ice out and we're gonna do what is called a dry shake. So normally when you hold your cocktail shaker together, it kind of sits at an angle like this. For shaking your egg white, you want it straight up and down. 
That's gonna seal it a little bit better um, and give you the seal that you need to get that emulsifying agent going. Um, so we're gonna hold it on the ends so that we don't squeeze the cocktail shaker apart. And we're gonna shake pretty strong for like 20 to 30 seconds. We're incorporating all of those ingredients together. That should be good. Give it a little whack. And now we're gonna add our ice. I am using Sonic Style Tiny Pebble Ice, um, which will melt quicker. So I'm not gonna shake my cocktail for very long. If you have larger cubed ice from your fridge, you might wanna shake it a little bit longer than I'm doing here. Um, you want it to chill the cocktail and add a little bit of dilution, but you don't wanna water it down. Okay, so cocktail shaker back together the normal way, a little bit crooked. That's it, a little whack. And we're ready to put it in our glass. So I'm gonna take the regular strainer to hold back my ice. And then I've got my double strainer to give me the texture that I want. And we are just gonna fill that glass up. Just like so. As that sits for just a second, you'll notice that the froth will start to form at the top and you'll get this really beautiful white ring of foam. And this will happen whether you're using egg or aquafaba. For our garnish, we're gonna take our cocktail pick. And we're just gonna take three fresh raspberries right through the middle and place right on top. And that's it, guys, that is the Clover Club. Fruity, delicious, fantastic. Pinkies out and cheers. If you have time and if you are able, uh, please donate to the Froze the Day fundraiser. Um, you'll be helping to support a wonderful team of people get through this really hard time. Um, a group of people who cannot wait to be back behind the bar with all of you wonderful people. Um, if you donate a minimum of $10, you will get a free Frosé from the Jones when we return, when we're all back together. Uh, so check the link in the post. Uh, donate if you can. Stay home. Stay healthy. Bye, guys.